All right, welcome back. Um, it's time to bring you into all that we're doing on the show. Let's know how you feel about some of the things we've talked about and um, tell us um, your opinion about um, what's going on in the United States, talking about the issues that have to do uh, with police brutality, how it affects sports and all of that. Talk about the Western and Southern Open, that's in tennis. Talk about the NBA. Talk about what's happening on the domestic scene, plans to get sports back after... Um, the hiatus uh, caused by COVID-19 and also um, all of the news in football, you know, Messi, Maguire, all of those things. That's how you can be a part of it. Uh, tweet at us at channels underscore sports. You can also send us a mail sports this morning at channelstv.com. That's how you can get your voice across the globe and be heard because we're global, we're international. As a matter of fact, we're everywhere. Okay. All right. So let's move on on the show. And I have the pleasure of introducing our guest today uh, is someone who is emotionally invested in football on the domestic scene. I have the pleasure of welcoming um, Chegun Shalanke, the president of Oluomo United FC. Thank you very much, Joe. And, and, and yeah, you, actually. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sorry. And um, you call it Oluomo, but it's actually Olumo. Oluomo. Oh, sorry. Yes. Sorry, sorry. All right. <laughs> and, for you, and, and for you, Europe is the big dad. <laughs> <laughs> Unpardonable. Okay. All right. Um, thanks for joining us. Um, it, it's good to have you um, with us. There, there are a lot of issues um, to talk about. And um, maybe I should just start with what was on my mind the first time I knew you were going to come. The first time I, I knew, I mean, honing a club or being a president um, of, of a club in the domestic scene, how is, how is it like? It's tough. Okay. It's um, not easy. Right. It's um, something that the only thing that keeps you, keeps you going has to just be the emotion and the satisfaction of, that you derive from, from the game itself. Okay. Um, I've been a lover of football all my life. I've been a lover of sports generally, but football is just one of those things that I love enjoying. So at, when we started with Olumo, it has just always been, okay, how do we change the perspective of football in Nigeria? And Olumo is just here to change all the narratives, run it professionally, make it more viable, and that is what keeps us going. Mm. All right. Running professionally. I mean, that, that got me there. It's, mm. uh, that's the nationwide league. We know how difficult mm -hmm. it is. Let me just mention, you know, trying to run a football club in Nigeria, especially when you really don't have the visibility and the uh, consistency because sometimes you start a league, the next thing is it's been suspended. Maybe there are some issues, home and away teams fighting yeah, and all training, that. And the NFL had to, you know, come in come and in. everything and all. So how do you juggle all this? Right now, we know that the league... Once the federal government, you know, gives the go ahead that sports, uh, concert sports can resume, mm -hmm. the league is supposed to resume between September and October. As of now, Hopefully. we really can't say. Yeah. So when you have issues like this, you know, not you know, consistent, how do you deal with them? Okay, so it brings me back to what Yemi was just saying, running the football, which is one of the main things that happens in Nigeria, that consistency. You want to start a league at a particular time and you are still not ready just when it's a few weeks away. What we have internationally is they have a date Structure. set and everybody follows the date. Mm -hmm. So COVID has changed a, lot, a whole lot of things and see where we are. Eventually, they have still decided to come back, find, finish, a, way around find a way around it, finish the game, even Champions League. Everything will still end up working out. But what have we done? Nothing. Now, I know that what we have here is not what they have there. So we, we will definitely have to play around it. And I will say that now that COVID has come, it has actually given us the opportunity to start afresh. Now they've set time for September to October to start the new league. Let us stick to it. Let us run it the number of weeks that we want to run it. And if we do that, people at home will also be encouraged. Now it's all a matter of, do people at home even also see us play? How many of our players in Nigeria do we know? Now you can go to... Oluma social media handles, and you will see some of the things that we're doing. We also have a website, it's also olumaunitedfc.com. You will see that we are trying to change all the narratives so that even you can always go on those pages and you will be able to see our players. Without, necessarily, our, calling without necessarily calling us. So if you are interested in our player, all you just need to do is pick from there and tell us, oh, I love this player, I'd like to know more. Then we can now feed you with whatever that you need. But... I could say again, 
What we need in Nigeria is to begin to run football professionally and more lucratively. Okay, right. that brings us to the issue of club licensing, yeah. which is a major one that the NFF and LMC are saying, look, they, you guys will have to follow this mm -hmm. to Due get process. registered for the next season. Let me make you laugh. Um, we are waiting to when we start the league. And I know that my team in the medical department have been you know, making sure that they get quite a number of things for the first aid and the all requirements. that. In fact, I had to laugh one day. I said, are you guys sure that when we are going to play a match, people will not think that we are bringing a whole hospital to the field? <laughs> okay, what, what you're saying in a nutshell is that your team is ready. I mean, all these things, you have them already? I can tell you, Cecilia, we are fully ready. We are fully committed and we are ready to change the narrative of football in Nigeria. Okay, club license, how, how rigorous or how easy is it if, as somebody who, is, who has been there, if, I, if, I, if I'm a newbie, if I'm somebody who's interested to be in your shoe, maybe I want to be a chairman, I want to be a president. I mean, talk about it. I mean, what are the, what are the hoops I, I have to, you know, the hurdles I have to cross? Okay, so I would say this for NFF. It is the most ideal thing to have those club licenses, those regular things, those criteria that mm -hmm. are in there. Because there is no way that you actually want to run a football club, either in Nigeria or anywhere else. Those guidelines have to be met. Now, if you are able to meet it, you will see that it makes even life easier for you. Mm -hmm. One of the few things that they are also requesting in those guidelines are your medicals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you take care of your players? How do, do you they, handle the matches? How do you handle, you know? So all those things are just the nitty-gritty of a proper football club. Today, you and I will want to wear um, Arsenal jersey, Man U jersey. Anyway, you can see I am wearing no more United You LC don't have jersey. a choice. If yeah. you have one another <laughs> jersey right here, I think we're just okay out of the studio <laughs> because you need to improve your club. Yeah. No, uh, well, it, 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 so you can see. And what we've also done when we were coming up with our own jersey is the fact that we said we are not going to do anything less that is going to not be sellable. So the probably, acceptable standard. Acceptable standard. And that is what we, we have done. Very soon, I'm sure, you'll begin to see everybody everywhere and they will call themselves the citizens. That's our own tag name. Okay, okay. That, that's interesting. Now, you know, club licensing is more, it's not just about medicals and hey, all yo. that. And that's what you've mentioned. You talked about having home ground, having a structure. Mm -hmm. I mean, having a, a finances to actually, you know, being able to run the club and some other issues, how your players move and everything. So these things, uh, you, you guys have it, your home ground, you know, your own stadium. I mean, even if you don't, but you know that yes, you have a particular place, place you can and play readily and available. everything ready there, and also the finance, you know, to players welfare up. and everything. Okay, so with finance, I can tell you it's not easy and it's never going to be easy. Um, most companies who even wants to sponsor are ready to sponsor a related international game rather than support of the, domestic, the domestic one, which is what we are battling with now. But I will say, um, I won't let the cat out of the bag just okay. yet. There are some that we are already talking to, and I know that um, in subsequently you will be seeing something good. But in terms of also the players, you can be sure that we are doing all our best and they are getting ready for the new season. Okay. Now, let's just take a look at, you know, what a, a National League, Nigeria National League, have actually, you know, spell out medical conditions for mm -hmm. clubs to be able to participate in, in the new season that is coming up. They've reeled out a whole lot of uh, things, uh, starting from having a medical doctor, a nurse, a physiotherapy for their games. And the second one is uh, clubs are to carry out medical examination of all contracts, players and coaches, and also have medical records of which shall be made available for inspe inspection by authorized representatives of the league body. And the third one is the fact that making available players' medical record yep. to all the clubs during transfer and negotiations of a player by the club holding such a player. The other one is clubs are to maintain a medical insurance scheme approved by the NNL. I believe this one we are talking about also applied to the, the lower NNL, cadres. the lower league. And went for that to say that compulsory first aid medical services at every match venue. And you said you guys already have that, yes, ambulance and stretchers and all that. And clubs will also present certificates of medical fitness of all players, coaching cabinet certificates must also be endorsed by a doctor with his contact details from reputable and designated medical center 
in their state. So all these will have to be put in place for clubs to be able to prosecute their games. Now, a situation whereby some of these clubs cannot, according to NNL, they will not be registered for the new season. And we'll know that most of the clubs are owned by government. But mm -hmm. the private one, you said, if you guys are going for a game or home, everyone will think maybe it's a hospital. But do you have it. a certified medical doctor? Yes, we do. therapist and all these people and, of course, welfare and everything? Yes, we do. Um, we've also made, made sure that our teams so far have all gone on medical tests and everything has been certified okay. Uh, we are also planning on actually running a trial very soon in mm -hmm. Abel Kuta, okay. where is our own base. Um, and we intend that any players that we are also choosing from there are also going to go for every medical test and make sure that they are all certified. Now, we also actually even run an academy, both here in Lagos and in Abelkuta. And you can be rest assured that even for the academy, all of them will pass through medical tests just right. to make sure that everybody is fit. So no matter how rigorous all of these things may appear, I mean, you're, 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 you're ready. We are fully that, that's ready. What all right, we're talking about the LLL, and I know one of the desires uh, that, you, that you have Ye as a club yes. is that maybe one day, very soon. soon, very soon, <laughs> very soon, I must say. So, your club will be playing, um, but between, be, I mean, for the sake of the fans, uh, the viewers, and everybody, football lovers listening to you, how far do you think you are from achieving that? I can tell you, don't be surprised that you wake up after this very season and you'll find us oh. in the middle. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you were going to say probably in a couple of years. I won't, I won't say that. Maybe if you ask me for MPFL, I'll say, okay, in, in a couple, couple of, of years, years we will be. But I can tell you that if it's for the NNL, which are going to be there very, very soon, than you can even imagine. Okay. That's okay. ambition speaking there. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I think we just have to leave it here because you have a lot of ambition to not just, uh, not remain there, but NNL and then... MPFL. And, MPFL, and you're not just one of those clubs in NLO that will just come sell players and, you know, continue and everything. No, and not that. at so all. Not you're at here all. to stay. We, we, we are here to stay, and we are here to promote Nigeria to the world. If you actually look at our name, it's called Olumo. The first thing that comes to your mind is what? Olumo Rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is also not just selling ourselves, but also selling our city, selling ourselves to the world. And when we, everybody around the world hears Olumo, Everybody will say, are you a citizen? And you can sell yourself, I am a citizen. <laughs> are you guys planning on having a home ground? Like having, this is our stadium? Because we hardly see that in MPFL I, or I, any of the league. Yemi yeah, just said, we have a very big ambition. Please just know that that is also already in the making. We okay. are going to be having our own ground. We might even be the first club in Nigeria to own a stadium. Your own stadium? Yes. Okay, we're waiting. If I but I think they have theirs. Mm, right? Yeah, they, Okay, yeah, they so do. you will not be the first. Okay. Thank you so much for coming that program. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, um, Manchester City fans are really celebrating that Lionel Messi might just come to their club. And of course, why they're obsessed with the Champions League. And they feel if he comes, he might just be the player that will win it for them. Let's listen to them. We'll come back. We'll talk more about this.